So in basic fetal development, in the first trimester, what I look for are nutrients that are going to help with organogenesis in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy. In the second trimester, I focus my intention toward things that are going to support nutrients that are going to support the proliferation of organs, the development of the stress hormone axis, and the beginnings of brain architecture. And in the third trimester, I've got to go to the brain. The brain volume in a fetus grows 260% in the third trimester alone and then an additional 175% in the first month of their life. What are the cofactors to create a healthy brain? And I also look towards immune development as the mother continues to pass along her microbiome along to her fetus. And also, ironically and interestingly enough, how do we help start develop palate? Because it is not at six months in a high chair that we are introducing food to our children. It is beginning in the second trimester at 20 weeks and fusing even more into the third trimester and then a continuation of that palate development into breastfeeding. And it all depends and is contingent upon how the mother approaches her phytonutrient composition. So how many rainbows can she eat in a day through colorful fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains? And then now what are the herbs and spices she can start utilizing in her cooking to not add to her cooking load, but di to diversify it as much as possible. We know that the quality and the quantity of the nutrition that you eat, the stress, the pollutants that you expose your body to while pregnant will all affect the generational health of your family for three generations. 